Glory to God. Welcome to a new week. We are in the third working week of the month of September 2018. What a blessing to be alive. What a privilege to invest in our destiny and to invest in our crown that will be given when we finally made it to the other side. Amen. Now, if you're joining this family, this is your first um, message or recording you're listening to us. I want to say welcome to the family. I want to remind you of some things the Lord has said in a few months. Um, the month of August was a month of welcome to the kingdom. The Lord made us to understand that a lot of people can be in the church, but they've never been able to make it to the kingdom. Actually, there's a man of God that says a lot of people have been in the corridors of the kingdom for so long, but they are not getting in. And daddy said we should come in and we did. As a, as a family, the Bill family, I believe that every one of us made it into the kingdom because of the teachings that came. Our mindset were rearranged or realigned um, to, to be that of the kingdom. And that is why I believe in the month of September, he said, it is a month of manifestation of the kingdom. Now you can only manifest a kingdom you have done what you've entered. You know, you cannot uh, manifest a kingdom you're not part of. Because we are part of the kingdom, we can now do what manifest the kingdom. Amen. The reason I'm giving this recap is so you understand why we're doing the teachings, we're doing this few days that are left in the month of September. The first reason is this. When the month of September started and he said if it was a season of manifestation, I understand, I understand um, from the scripture that the kingdom of God and the manifestation of the kingdom of God is found in the book of Romans. Romans chapter 14 verse 7 where it says that the kingdom of God is what righteousness peace and joy in the Holy Ghost and every time I will go into the stadium to record I will feel the Lord the push or pull from the Spirit of God to talk about joy and I was wondering why joy but being as uh, trained to listen and follow the Holy Spirit I would do it and it came to a very excited surprise that major voices were also teaching on the joy of the Holy Ghost. Now, this is a beautiful part of it. Yesterday, the Lord made mention that He wants us to take it to the next level. If this is your first recording, I want to ask you to go back to this channel and start listening from the first message of the month. We've done a lot of teaching on joy. We've done, we've exposed joy as the gift of the spirit. We look at the limitations, the challenges to your joy. And we look at called joy stealers. We've also looked at joy fertilizers, things that will make you be more joyful. We've done all of that. But this week is one of the best because of what daddy is saying. What is he saying? He said, this is the week where you will experience what is called fullness of joy. Yes, there is something called fullness of joy. And this is the week. We don't know how long this uh, um, opening in the realm of the spirit will last. But from this week, from today, you can begin to experience fullness of joy. What is fullness of joy? Literally, it's when joy has overflowed. It's so full to the point. It's when joy is so full that it overflows. That's right. See, I want to say it so fast because it's so good. I am so expectant. He said it's a season. It's a time where he wants us to have joy to the point where the joy is overflowing. Um, one of the things that we need to expect in this new week is increase. Increase and new things. Things that we've never known or walked in before is going to be happening to us. Now, you don't be on the side of the hearer or the doubter or the criticizer. Be on the side of the doer. How do you do it? You say, yes, it's mine. I receive it. Sometimes your mind will not line up with it. But if you say, I receive it, your mouth, the word that is coming out of your mouth is that powerful to chart the course of your life. 
because this word has come forth, I want you to receive it and begin to declare it with your mouth. Say, this is my week where I will experience fullness of joy. Great things are going to be happening for me. People will favor my children. People will favor my husband or favor my wife. People will stand out there. People will stand for me. People will leave their comfort to serve me and be a blessing to me. This week, I will be a channel of joy. I will be one of those that the Lord will through me cause somebody to overflow with joy. Amen. It's not one side that the kingdom, everybody wins in the kingdom. Our kingdom is not like lottery. No, in the kingdom of God, everyone rejoices. Everyone gains. Amen. We'll begin to look into Psalm 16 verse 11 tomorrow where it talks about in his presence, there is fullness of joy. We have to pieces this thing out. We know how we do it here at Beer, right? We don't just take the word of God and run with it. We take it, open it up, know what it talks, it's talking about. When daddy gives a word, we want to know so we can do what? Run with it. Amen and amen.